do. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. Most of my content is about makeup, but there are some hair things and dress up things. Um, mostly it's about decorating oneself and I like, I like sharing it. Um, it's fun. And so today I thought that I would talk about this seemed, and this is, this is actually very funny because I was thinking about how much I liked Blend Bunny cosmetics and how much I like their eyeshadows. And I was like, oh, I should do a video about the 10, you know, if I could only keep 10 or shop 10 brands for the rest of my life, what would they be? Thinking that Blend Bunny would be like one of them. And it's not. <laughs> and it's because there are reasons for it, which, but anyway, this is how this chaotic world works. Um, that being said, Blend Bunny Cosmetics is amazing. Those eyeshadows are just perfect and I love the brushes, but I, there were other things that won in certain ways, um, but I would probably regret it. So, you know, I don't know, but it would, anyway, we'll get into it. All right. So this video is about what 10 brands I would choose if I could only shop 10 brands for the rest of my life. And I might regret it. I might not. Um, but, but this is why, this is why things fell into the way that they did. So number one, Natasha Denona. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Um, and so it just, it, it had to be there. And I thought about it cause I was like, well, I really like colorful makeup and that's where, you know, the, the colorful colors come in with Blend Bunny. But, you know, um, actually one of my absolute favorite colorful makeup palettes of all time is the, um, what is this called? Circle Loco palette from Natasha Denona. And I didn't even think I was going to like this. And oh my goodness, you can get the prettiest looks with this palette. Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Natasha Denona does have the colorful, which is the one thing that I was like, well, am I worried about that? Anyways, so yeah, just the colorful. But then also just the best neutrals. I love the I Need a Nude palette. Oh, the tones in here are just, if I just want to look pretty. In fact, I'm wearing mostly this today. And then I have a little bit of the Xenon palette, which this is one of my favorite palettes right now. I just love it. I love it so much. So Natasha Denona like makes the cut. Also really like I've had this bronze and glow for a few years and this particular bronzer shade is maybe my favorite bronzer shade. Um, I really, I really like this. I don't ever use that highlight, but I like the bronzer in here. Um, okay. I'm broken. Um, <laughs> one, one way. So I haven't tried the Natasha Denona concealer, but people have raved about it. Um, and so if I liked the Natasha Denona concealer, if I try it and I love it and there's the perfect shade for me, that could push another brand off and I would add Blend Bunny back in. Just, just, I just had to throw that out there. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Anyways. Um, so I'll just, I'll go on to that one. So my favorite concealer of all times, I love this. I don't really wear foundation very much. Often I will just use concealer, um, like kind of right here and just on blemishes, um, things like that. So, um, the NARS creamy concealer, radiant creamy concealer. I love this. I love this. I love the formula. There is one called nougatine. I don't know if that's what this one is because I can't read it without my glasses, but 
Um, oh, I love this stuff. And I, they come in minis, so I don't have to buy a whole thing because I don't go through a lot of concealer. Love this. So NARS kind of has to, it has to be on the list. Um, we're on brand number two, by the way. <laughs> and then um, I do like this NARS foundation for foundations. I don't love wearing foundation, period. But this particular foundation is pretty good. I think it's what's the Gobi is the shade um and it's a pretty good shade for me it's not actually my favorite foundation my favorite foundation didn't make the list but it's because it was really only foundation and bronzer in that brand it was Huda Beauty um I just I don't wear bronzer and foundation very often and so I was like I can live with the other um foundations and bronzers I have so there we go, NARS, number two. Um, the third one, and this one I'm super like, I don't know about two, because the only thing I use like a lot from this brand, and it's Charlotte Tilbury, is the uh, setting powder or finishing powder, flawless finish. So finishing powder, it's a really nice powder. Um, and so if I use powder, this is usually what I'll use. Um, I just find pressed powders a little easier to deal with. I do have some loose powders that I like, but this is just so easy. And so I was like, maybe, maybe I would like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I've never tried it. I find that the Charlotte Tilbury products tend to not suit my complexion very well. My my undertone. Um, I've got kind of a warm yellow. I think there's a little bit of olive, but I think it's more peach maybe. I don't know. And it just, I think maybe she suits cooler undertones better, but this translucent powder is amazing. Um, and I do like some of her highlighters that I've tried. So, and lipsticks. So Charlotte Tilbury makes the cut, but that's like only because I need this powder. And there isn't a powder in any of these other brands that I'm like, yes, I love that. So I don't know. It's kind of weird how this all played out. I was very surprised by some of this. Um, another one where I'm like, yeah, I could mostly live without this brand, but there is one thing that I really like. And it is this, um, eh, that's not true. There's a couple things that I like. Um, it's these the matchstick um contour stick i love contour sticks the cream uh, contour i like contouring it's fun and i enjoy it and this shade amber just seems to work really well for me and i figured i would probably use more from fenty than i would westman atelier i have a westman atelier one that i like but i don't have anything else from them and it's so much more expensive and fenty has more things that I like and tends to have a price point that's a little bit more um, manageable for for myself. Um, I also like the um, the lip glosses from from Fenty because the smell doesn't bother me. A lot of times the smells of things bother me, and this one it's kind of kind of okay. Sometimes it's a little strong, but it's it's okay. It's like a candy smell. Uh, so that's that. The other thing is, ooh, and this one, this one's hard for me because every day that I put on makeup, I start with this weird Too Faced lip injection, but this is the only thing I use from Too Faced. Although they do have finishing powder that I like. But I'm gonna go with, I'm probably gonna end up liking more Charlotte Tilbury than I am Too Faced. But, ooh, this was hard to give up. Point being, um, the Fenty Heat, sort of a similar thing, sort of. And so I think maybe I could live without this. Both of them have like just strong chemical smell um, and they both do the like burning lip thing. This one is so moisturizing and I don't actually remember if this one is or not. I meant to use it today and forgot and used this one. <laughs> um, 
so that was kind of a fail, but I will miss this. So I don't know, at the end of this video, I might change my mind about um, the Charlotte Tilbury and just go with Too Faced instead because there's a powder that I really like, but I don't like anything else from Too Faced. I just don't care. That's not true. I like, oh my gosh, Anna, move on. Okay. So the next brand, and this is brand number five, is Lancome. Because I literally cannot live without this. This is the Monsieur Big um, mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. This is one coat. And I love this mascara. I have not found anything that I like as much. Um, and it comes in a mini size. These are, I think, $14, which... But at least I don't have to buy the big one, which is like mascaras are upwards of $20 most of the time or even upwards of $30. I'm, I don't understand. I was born in the 70s. Okay, so like <laughs> mascara costing <laughs> this much money. Just I don't I can't I, I don't know. Um, but this is the one that I have to have. So um, yeah, Lancome. It just, it makes the cut. Um, I also do like their, um, this is a foundation, uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear. And I like this shade pretty well for myself. Um, it looks a little light in the bottle, but it's frosted glass. So anyways, that, that foundation works pretty okay for me. Okay. And next up, and I, th I mean, it's funny. So I've been less interested in this brand lately, but when I was going through things, some of my favorite makeup items are from this brand. Um, and so I will continue. It's good stuff. And that is Pat McGrath. Um, I do really like some of the older Mothership palettes. I love Bronze Seduction. It's so beautiful. I love um, Subliminal. This one's subversive. Wait, subversive. The one with the green, like the third one or second one. I can't remember. I should just go get it. Sublime. Sublime is the one. Um, I think this is probably still my favorite Pat McGrath palette. Well, this is bronze section. Um, anyways, I just, it's good stuff. It's beautiful stuff. Like, I'll swap just a couple of these special shades here. Um, like, they're good. It's good stuff. It's interesting stuff. I think, you know, the stuff that's come out lately, eyeshadow-wise, pass. I, I don't really care anymore. I don't know. Nothing has really captured my attention um, very much in the past year for sure maybe even longer two years so I don't know I as far as eyeshadows I'm not as interested in the newer stuff however I realized that I wear Pat McGrath blushes 85% of the time that I wear makeup um unless I'm doing a really um kind of dress up character like look and I need purple or um you know something like that I will use a Pat McGrath blush I don't even think this is all of them that I have and I it's like who needs this much blush nobody but this is what I have and this is what I use so also also she still has blushes really well like that's what I'm wearing today I think this is called which one is this it's called I like the name of it and I can't think of what it's called Nymphette. It's Nymphette. Um, okay. What I'm about to show you fills me with rage. Because every time I pull it out, I'm like, this thing, why? Why? Why is this almost as big as my head? And why, like, this is the... the... However... This blush is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like this blush right here, 
It looks so pretty. I Side later is nice too. So <laughs> she can do good stuff. Her formulas are great. And I love this. And I hate the packaging. Um, speaking of highlighters, I just think I think my favorite highlighter just if you if I was only able to use one highlighter for the rest of my life, if you ask me today, I would choose this like Bridgerton collection um highlighter called Incandescent Gold. It just looks really nice um on the face. So, you know, Pat McGrath, again, I like a lot of the stuff. Um, I really like these highlighters. They've got like a multi-chrome situation going on. And they're very beautiful. So, you know, um, I, I use this powder almost every time I put on makeup to set my um, eyeshadow primer. So Pat McGrath, I love her lipsticks. And she has some um, just really flattering colors. This is a pretty basic one, but it's so flattering. It would probably look good with this look. I don't want to put it on right now just because it take too long. Um, but then I also, you know, there are these like really deep dark shades that just very well curated colors for lipsticks. I'm, I am very into these. They're pretty comfortable. I don't find them too drying. Oh yeah, this, this guy. So pretty. Um, so I like when there's edginess and creativity going on, um, over there. Oh yeah. And I like the lip glosses. Like, look at this. This is so beautiful. Um, and different than most of the mainstream stuff. I feel kind of bad. Most of this list is mainstream makeup and I love indie eyeshadows, but I haven't found like my full face situation in indie makeup yet because I just don't have the buying power to try a million things. Um, so I feel, I feel a little bit sad that because if I want to wear like a full face of makeup and not just wear eyeshadow, I have to choose things like long comb, you know? Uh, anyway, moving on. Pat McGrath, man. So much stuff that I love. I'm also so bored with the eyeshadows that have come out lately. All right. Um, I, I have hope. I have hope that maybe something will come out future. I, I don't know. I'm, I want, I, I hold out hope that something cool is gonna happen <laughs> it's just wishful it's my wish and desire okay next on my list let's see one two three four five sixth on the list so I put Anastasia Beverly Hills on this list mm, I'm this one again I I don't love everything that they do but but I use their eye primer. Like this is the eye primer that I use and like. And I've heard that Natasha Denona had one but discontinued it. So I don't know if maybe like Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath could come out with an eye primer that's like amazing. Um, then I could um, add Too Faced back on for my lip product that I must have. I might have to make it 11. I might just have to break the law, break my own law. <laughs> Anyways, Anastasia Beverly Hills, because I like this little guy, um, and I use it. I also do, I, I was like, my favorite brow product is Rare Beauty, but it's really the only thing I use from Rare Beauty, so that didn't make the list. Um, but I dig sort of what that brand's about, too, so... Um, I'm sad to let that one go. However, I do like the brow, is it brow whiz? Brow whiz pencils. They're fine. They're not, like I said, my favorite. I like the word beauty, like, um, this guy. But that's not on my list. <laughs> that's Anastasia 
It really is. Um, they do have a new lip product that I am interested in trying because their old liquid lipstick, there was a shade called Serafina and it was the perfect red lipstick, like perfect. But the formula was not for me. I didn't like it at all. So I want to try the new, um, I don't remember if it was a liquid lipstick that they came out with. Anyways, I wanted to see if they had a really good red in that. So maybe we'll try that out. I don't know. So I'm not ready to let that go. I've also heard that they have really good, um, my brain isn't working today. My memory recall, um, hormones. Thank you for that. Um, highlighter, highlighter. And there is, oh, I'm going to put a picture up of a highlighter that I want from them. And I'm hoping it's amazing. Anyway, I just, the, the lunar, the lunar new year stuff always gets me. And of course, year of the dragon is just like, you know, that's like the special one, the dragon, even in, um, Chinese astrology, um, that the dragon is like the, you know, the, the fancy sign. I don't know. Like I've heard that people will try to have their kids born that year. I don't, I don't know if that's true. That's just rumors, but, um, I can, I might do that if I ever, whatever. Okay. Moving on. Um, next up, and this is the seventh brand and that's Ruffer. I was like, you can't cheat. You can't just have your makeup brushes be a separate thing because they are part of your makeup. Um, I can't live without my refer brushes. And it's so sad to me that like the other brands that I like in my brushes, I wouldn't be able to use because like I love my Blend Bunny brushes. Really, I just need to narrow this down to more like 15 brands, but I was like, 10, do it. Make this hard. Um, and so I did. And so refer, 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 refer. They're soft. They're just, they're nice shapes. Um, they're so soft. They're so soft and they're just elegant. They're beautiful. Um, I like their brush soap as well. And, um, I want to find, okay. 18 hours later, it's actually the next day uh, where I, <laughs> it took me so long to find these. It's not, it's been like three minutes, but so rough for brushes, um, how little that is, look at how small that is. It's so good. It's so good. So, um, that's one reason, another reason that I love them. Look at how small that is. And I have very deep set eyes and they're kind of small and hooded and I just need little tiny things to get in there. Um, and then like how little that is. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah. And they just. They have like shapes and sizes of everything except for um, refer because I know you watch my videos. Can you please make a brush that is like this shape? Like just very small, um, that that shape. Cause I need, I need one of those. You don't have one of those yet and I need one, so. Cause my favorite one, oh, there's my favorite one. Yeah, this is, I use this all the time. This is a. Morphe brush, I think, which I'm not so fond of that company, but, and I think, did they go to business? I don't know, whatever. Um, I do like this brush, so, and I do use it, uh, but I can't if I'm only using these 10 for the rest of my life, which thank goodness that's not real. <laughs> my goodness. Um, just a little hypothetical, just, just for fun, just to make a video, just to entertain myself and potentially one of you. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, okay. So what's next? Yeah. Ruffer. Ruffer. I like these two. These like, um, magnet. I don't know. They're, like whatever. I could live without those, but I do like the brushes. And if I had to choose one brand of brush, it would be Ruffer. And I need brushes. Love brushes. So, and they're, you know, affordable. So, okay. Next up this is number nine, um, is ColourPop. I cannot live without ColourPop lip pencils, uh, but more just because like, look at how many I have. I got that like roll that one time 
or it, I think it came in this. I think it came in this um, container and it's got like a lid. And it, anyway, whatever. Um, this shade right here, BFF, it's the perfect lip liner shade for me. It's not what I'm wearing today, but it is the perfect shade for me. Um, so that, and then these cream gel liners are so cheap and they come in every color ever. Um, and I use them so, 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 so much. I am not wearing any today, <laughs> but usually I will. Um, so I couldn't live without those. Also, I do enjoy, um, I have a mess in front of me, but, um, their bronzer is, it's fine. It's what I'm wearing today. It's fine. I don't know. It's kind of new to me. Uh, I feel like maybe a darker shade would be better. This was the lightest one called Avila Beach. Oh, I can read this. Thank you, ColourPop, for making this large enough font for me to be able to read. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Thank you, ColourPop. They also, you know, they come out with fun stuff. So, uh, you know, the Rudolph palette. Yes, this. It just... Oh. My little heart. Um, so I, you know, color pop would would be there. They come out with a lot of stuff there, but it's you know, it's affordable as well. So they had those colorful mascaras for a while. I liked those. Um, I've liked some other stuff a lot through the years. So, so that's that. Um, all right, and then. The last brand, and this is an indie brand. This was the only indie brand that made the list. I guess Natasha Denone is technically an indie brand, but oh, it just kind of hurts a little that there wasn't like menagerie and yeah. Anyway, oh, and Odensei. No, no, no. But you know. This is, this is what we're doing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm cheating like crazy, but they're not, they're not on the list, but they're honorable mentions. Um, but Terra Moons, um, first off, uh, they have like every color of matte that you could possibly want. Um, like if Natasha Denona doesn't have one, they're just, they come in singles, um, instead of palettes, it, which like Blend Bunny comes in palettes, which is nice, but they're not on my list. Okay. <laughs> this video is kind of chaos. Um, all right. So I'm going to swatch some of these because like, I have to have this. I have to have this. I can't live without this. This is, this is why, I mean, I look how many shadows I have from them. And they're not cheap. Like, this is craziness. This is craziness. Um, I'm going to try to do a good job of, well, A, not getting this all over my black sweater, but B, letting you know what shades I'm going to swatch for you. Let's keep this at four shades because I have four fingers. Um, all right, let's do this one because holy mackerel. Okay, so this is called... The Cosmos, and this shade is just ridiculous. And then that's that. And then this shade Phoenix is just ridiculous. I'm gonna go into a space case. Okay, we're gonna do five. <laughs> so this one is called Solar Delirium. So that's so far the magic that is there. <laughs> and then um M51. Um let's put those here. Let's swatch some terror moons. This is the number one brand that when I get in order and I swatch these puppies. I lose my mind. This one I can't do on camera because I don't bend that way. 
but um here are those swatches they're just it's like so much color and so much so much excite yeah these just blow my mind look at all those colors anyway gotta have the crazy awesome multi-chromes and like yeah just oh so good so good so Terra Moons just wins for me the multi-chrome you know eyeshadow lover prize okay so so officially officially <laughs> I could only uh, use 10 brands for the rest of my life. Okay, so officially, officially, my brands are NARS. And you know what? I'm gonna say Blend Bunny. I'm gonna say Blend Bunny. I'm scraping, I'm scratching Char Charlotte Tilbury. Bye bye, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm putting Blend Bunny back on there because I love those eyeshadows and those palettes. They're so well curated. And I believe. I believe that Blend Bunny might one day come out with a powder that's just as good as this. I hope, hope that I'm not making a terrible mistake. There's gotta be a powder somewhere within all of this. So officially, we have NARS, Blend Bunny, Natasha Denona, Fenty Beauty, Lancome, Pat McGrath Labs, Refer, ColourPop, and Terra Moons. And can I just sneak Too Faced in there? Don't tell anybody. We're gonna change this video to if I could keep, if I could shop 11 brands for the rest of my life, these are what they would. 11 brands. This was always about 11 brands. This was, this was intentional. It was not intentional, but you know, um, this is where we're at. Well, I hope you enjoyed, um, this chaos. Um, and let me know if any of these are your favorites. What are your 10 brands? <gasps> 11 brands. Put your 11 brands in the comments. I'm curious. What can't you live without? Because Clearly, narrowing it down to 10, which should have been something that I could do, was not something that I could do. Oh, and I forgot to say Anastasia Beverly Hills. Chaos. Chaos. This is chaos. Chaos. I hope that you are having a good week, and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please hit that subscribe button, and... Uh, I will I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.